you. Her daughter's in the building, Asia. My niece is in the building. Love y'all. Kev is in the building, of course. And my, my colleague and co-host, the commissioner, is in the building. And yes, Ralph Finesse is here keeping things in check, making sure videos in line and in order. And you can see our faces on NewtownRadio.com. You can see our faces on Saturday with Mr. L on Instagram. And of course, we got the new feed on YouTube.com forward slash more beats. That's there. To the left of me is a guy we met about a year, I want to say, yeah, about a year or two ago, right? That's right. And when we met him, um, I guess y'all met in that liquor store, like we as I remember. The, we met, <laughs> we so, met in the so liquor store. So it was quite store. fitting that he spiced up my my coffee this morning, uh, and I'm yeah, in a great like, mood. Like the first smoke of the day. <laughs> like, like, coffee and a drink. Yeah. To the left of me is someone I've known for a year and I have great relationship. We talk a lot. We shoot the shit about a lot of things, and we've been supporting one of these festivals that's coming up right around the corner. I did notice. Um, two dates on that on that on that on that seminar there so we got to talk more about that because we talk about the, the the 420 right we talk about the 420 but we don't talk enough about the 419 right what's right, happening the right. day before because you know that's the thing that finance and make sure that the 20th is happening you know what i'm saying well, it's the information that's <laughs> vital to get us to where we are today with the uh, legalization plus there's recreation doing it and appropriately you and you can have right medical and people need to know the difference between going and buying recreation and where you have to actually have a medical card to go into it. So to the left of me, give a big round of applause for Diesel 420. Yeah. Come on. He, he's, got, right. he's, got, he's got quite a bit of efforts going. He's been doing this for over 20 years. I mean, he, he, he's been in multiple cities in the country. Um, you know, with distribution and teaching people yes. how to grow their yes. own recreational marijuana. Yes. And he's doing it very successfully, even before all of the the lifts and the, the approvals and the licensing. He, he he understood how to teach people how to be accountable for their own cannabis intake. And give him another big round of applause <laughs> to Diesel yes. L with the, yes. with the with the adaptation of, yes. of buttermilk growth supplies, right? Because yes. he has the supplies available. He has the training available. And now the, for the fifth year, you got another festival it's celebrating the cannabis freedom Yes. In New York City from April 19th to April 22nd. Big round of applause again for DZOL. Right. And I can't, and I'm glad that you, you bring us in. Uh, could you roll that J any longer? Uh, well, I had to make That's it go for at least an extensive amount of time. But um, yeah, I just want to give love to your other co host, I mean, um, um, my guest, guest that was right? here. That's my sister. You know that, right? That's, That's my sister, man. Holy cow. You ain't know. I didn't know. Yeah, it's my but sister. I ain't. You know, want to bust the bubble. And oh, and Diesel. My single. whole buttermilk thing came because uh, the whole buttermilk thing is I used to be a porn star for like 15 years. <laughs> and I really you know don't give a say, tell. I, I knew that was coming. I'll tell people <laughs> that. Because I think it works only because you have to either understand, like, you know, her position, people that make it for money, people that do it as a business, people that do it for whatever reasons. And sometimes what we believe in our faith, the world has changed. Right, correct. And I'm a Muslim, inshallah, I'm doing law right. But at the same time, I do things totally far to the left or right against what my religion says I should coincide with every day. And I understand Sister Girl is the whole bit with that. And and kudos, great, you know? Yeah, because everybody can't sustain something like that. It's the really world, understanding the, the mastery of your world, domain, right? Yeah, with yeah, the world's yeah. temptation. So just like it is, you know, I, I know how it is and hard and difficult and and I hope and wish you well in seeking that individual that's going to share that love and, you know, the rest of y'all lives together. So, I mean, according to, to her, she's going to fight him today. So <laughs> what, if it's not it's, today, it, it's, it's in the affirmation. I will find him today. Yeah. Who knows who she met today? So the thing you was asking me about <laughs> was the 19th. Right. Yeah, the nineteenth, the seminar, man. Yeah. Let's talk. I didn't know about it until just now when I sort of fly. I'm like, yeah. oh, it's a whole growth we, we seminar for like. We don't you get know? a lot of people signing up yet, and haven't done in the last year because we do like the uh, last year we did mostly the uh, the meet and greet. Yeah, for the vendors meet and greet. Yeah, I went to that. that was kind of a lot dope. of vendors come from different areas. They never even get to talk during the day of the event, so we had that for there. So now we said this year we'll include the seminar, seminars, workshops, and there's three one, workshops here, yeah. right? So it's, it's, it's about the legal cannabis with, mm -hmm. with Joe Levy, right? Mm -hmm. Then you got growing cannabis. That's right. you. <laughs> That's me. Right at the store. I cannot pronounce your full name. Well, I'll just say Diesel. Diesel L. Kwaku, but okay. Diesel for short. <laughs> yes. And then the community activist, Dr. Doreen Davis, is going to be there. Yes, right? she's also on the board with the uh, New York Cannabis Freedom Festival. 
And uh, she's been working with us it, for the it's, last it's year. It's the same spot, Haven Bar, right? Me yeah, and Greed at 420. Spot. And the same location we used last year at uh, uh, Pacific BK on uh, 1065. Oh, and it looked like the Pacific price went Street. down. So you could get a two-day yes. pass for $55 with a, gre- with a goodie bag. Yes, so, and most people Oh, that's, that's kind of that's that's dope, that's the two-day pass. So you get to experience the seminar. And you come, you get a goodie bag, and then you could come in and sample from different vendors. The room was crazy last year. Yeah, that yeah. was crazy. Indoor, outdoor. It was so it. crazy. We brought like the owner of Pacific BK, and like a couple weeks later, like bro, you gotta hang out with us too. Dion, yeah, yes. Dion. Shout out to Dion Shout from my man. Pacific. Man. Yeah, Dion. he's like, so he's we had a, to bring him in to talk with us and hang out. Yeah, to show love. So, nice. So nice. that's important. So like, there's certain things we always try to do in the community. We all need to make money, but sometimes. It's like volunteering and support your time or service. I'm, I'm a, t- a I had, I, and I'm not a smoker, right? right? I'm gonna tell you what happened. We're leaving, right? Mika did a thing. We hung out with all the vendors. We did. We had absolute fun, right? Right. We really didn't want to go because it was a lot going on, but we had another thing to do. I walk out and some guy in a truck. I mean, the bag was like twice the size of that jar you had right, there. Right. Yo, bro, you want this? He was just giving it out. So and he said I no. Said, I did say no. Because I'm not that. a smoker. I feel like somebody so sometimes that with those smoked, events, you got to take it and give it to your next right, I, I, member. I, I, I wasn't thinking. Sometimes <laughs> we don't. Same thing with people you come around these events. Thinking. I was thinking about the next person he can hand it off to that yeah, might need it. I wasn't thinking he, about my direct he chose team. you and you got to choose someone. <laughs> And that's how that'll go. You know? I, I was trying not to be a distributor. Yeah. It's well, legal also, now. for the it's love legal. from now to the end of the show, we got one of our strains from my boy, uh, Genevieve Breeders, right the here name in of Brooklyn. That, I couldn't say this that here fast. is called Sour Goo Haze. It's a mix of sour diesel and purple haze. No, and oh. goo, which is another strain, and the regular amnesia haze. So you got a cross between three strains there. I think we need to get point. the commissioner in your growth classes because she likes plants. And, and, and she need plants. to come on down. I, I urge you to come and show some love because now you're going to have some nice growth. I don't know. This is probably four to six centimeters or maybe eight inches. Let that thing grow about that's another a, uh, four inches. No and you're going to put her into flower. And you're going to have some bud in it. And what's weeks. the part you repot? Because I remember last time you well, were telling me. Well, basically, you, you, could... you would take this. You, would, you know, once it's nice, you would squeeze this out, pull this out. Have your pot ready, right. make an impression with the cup so that the actual dirt that you're taking oh, out. Oh, goes right fit. into the pot. So okay. you go and get that in. You and don't then make that sound, though. I do it all the time. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like that's that record. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and you. then now you know you got a nice form, and then mostly you're going to have to put soil or cocoa more or dirt, whatever around, you, right. around, and more on the top because even though this is pretty long and strong, if this is from seed, some from clones you'll probably have. Um, trichomes or bushes and other websites and bud sites but when this from seed is growing up how often do you have to water that uh, about every four days this here is in like some organic uh, cocoa and soil so it doesn't need much but cocoa evaporates quicker than soil so you will probably need sometimes instead of four days three days if you can weigh the cup if it's heavy uh, then you know, if okay. it's light then you're trying you need to add water gotcha. yeah. But this is your homegrown right here. Yeah, you see what you just learned just that fast, Commissioner? Supply. You see? Is this the one Commissioner walking away with? The yeah, this is, yeah, this is. The, this is. This is for the house. Oh, okay. No, I, 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 whoa, whoa. Staying at the <laughs> studio. <laughs> yeah, that's it. You take that home. Yeah, why not? Y'all I don't want have the this. boys knocking my door down talking about what you're growing in here. Ain't no boys knocking that down. And, and because <laughs> everything is so legal right now. But, but, well, the, people are about to find out from Joe Levy, right? Yes. He, we, I, I'm assuming he's an attorney with the last, with the Jewish yes, name at the end. <laughs> and, and he's a cannabis legal yeah. attorney. We yeah. also have another guy named Jonathan, can't remember, Pendleton, I think it is, from Humboldt Sea Cal, uh, Company in California, who will be speaking on the day. Also, Joe Levy will be speaking on the day. And Question, um, so the, the seminar is from 11 a.m. to 3.30, correct? Yes. And then the following day, the actual event is the event. It starts at what time? 4.20? It starts at 1 o'clock. Oh, I see what you did. 10 the seminar is from 11 a.m. to 3.30 p.m. And then Meet and greet is at 4.20. Party. That's with the... Haven Bar. Right, a Haven Bar with the vendors. And right? then that's only till like 9 o'clock. Right. So people could go home and get some rest for tomorrow. Coming in the morning. And what time does the event start? The, the following event day starts on 420? at 1. We load in at 11. All vendors should get in there early so you don't fart Sound around like I have to and take a playing day off. games. Man. You gotta take, we yeah. start the open doors What does that say o'clock? to my boss? I need to take 420 off. No, he knows. That he, he's a master. <laughs> See, you got to put that in a month ahead of time. If you put it in you on Monday. You don't have to tell him what it is. What today is? It, 
No, I didn't pass that you. Mm. Okay. <laughs> if you put it in on Monday, you'll be fine. But we already committed, so there's that. Oh my God. He's so dramatic. So, uh, sorry to blow you down with that one. <laughs> Vic Maddox must Let's not be about... coming in. It looked like we got some time this yeah, morning. Yeah, we got some yeah. time. Got so some time. right here, I have uh, one of our uh, strains we grew at the store. It's uh, called Girl Scout Cookies, also by my boy. It's called, so a guy at my job was selling these Girl Scout Cookies, and yeah. I was trying to stay away from him. Should like... I sell him this? Because he just had hip surgery. Yeah, yeah, if he wants something to medicate and calm and get his appetite good, good sleep, help some inflammation. Did you give stuff. information to Kev? Kev, did he get it? Because he has friends uh, in his group. that We have that, that on different okay. things. Yeah, okay. yeah. I wanted to make sure he had the intel. Yeah, but too. certain things that he need because he can't work uh, smoke because of cannabis at the job. Sometimes ingesting cannabis smoke wise, you will have a deeper sense that it will last longer. But using gummies, edibles, and stuff, they don't stay in your system as long. Okay. But you know, regiment versus your job, do or don't do, and that's pretty much what it is. I mean, you need income, right? So hey, do it or don't do it. Don't risk the income. Don't even risk the income, like nah. <laughs> you know, you already know. Don't yeah. do it. Nah, 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 nah. Yeah. So, um, but you figured out how to make a lifestyle. Well. <laughs> I'm going to tell you this, because of the previous lifestyle, right. shit, and I've always been a filmmaker and a painter, the PR, the whole shit, just talking about it, and the thing that I started um, um, back in Florida and in D.C. was I was doing what is called bud porn, weed porn. Oh, so now, you made the transition slowly, right? Yeah. Right. So I You was, migrated the audience from that yes, into what you were doing. Yeah, yes. that's a great plan. And because- Sort of you know, like what we're doing with the music. Because so, all the music you hear on, on Saturdays of Mr. L is music produced by our team at More Beats. Now, you can put that with <laughs> hip-hop yeah. and weed, weed and sex, hip-hop and sex, whatever it takes, whatever those combinations right. on our lifestyles, how we live day to day, these things come to life. And some are told to avoid, some are experience it, and then they learn what is good for them, what is not good. Trust you train them. quite a bit of people, and you yeah. help people start their well, small businesses, I actually. think that's the most important part that you know, like in the beginning, we'd smoke anything. We used to get, you know, pounds of weed pressed like this, had gang of seeds. We used to use album covers and get like <laughs> 60 damn. Shout out to Vic Manic. He just walked in the building. Seeds. We yeah. thought we had a little hey, extra man. time. Yeah. He was like, we I don't think Vic yeah. Manic is coming in today. We got some extra time, but mm -hmm. look like we got to wrap this up, Vic. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's all good. <laughs> Shit. Well, y'all already You'll know be back where to next go. Next week and yeah. for the next three weeks, right, Dizo? Yeah, we here with next three we weeks. Hopefully, we're going to have more of our vendors. To the, uh, New York Our City vendors will be country. here. Uh, do you have a, a DJ already for the Cannabis Festival? Uh, we have one that was going to do the house, but now that we're doing a collaborative sponsorship mm. thing, we got a good mm. thing. So if you mm. got like guest DJs that want to do like a hour or two spinning on the uh, You know Pockets was checked Newtown in. Pockets, Radio. where you at? Yeah. We'll figure this work out. And the artists we have, we have performances going to be coming from Newtown artists and from, no, from, from the radio no, station. From not, not from Newtown artists, let's okay. be clear. Okay. Whoa, you whoa, have performances whoa. by More Beats artists. More Beats. More oh, yeah, that's beats. my label. My label. Right. Okay. This so is Newtown Radio. That? Okay. We are Saturdays with Mr. L and Friends. But we have and a record label. the record label Call More is beats. More Beats. And you know, did, 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 and did you know that since we met, like, um, over the past three years, we released 28 albums? 20. Yeah. <laughs> we got well, I remember albums. two of those damn 24 hour events. Yeah. I was like, yo, how the hell y'all so that one? So this year we're not doing, we did a, a, a 12 hour marathon the first year for our, uh, to celebrate the one year anniversary of Saturdays, Mr. L. Right. This time we're doing the second year anniversary With at you, your event. At New York so we're making Cannabis all the phone Festival. calls Man. to the 600 people in our Rolodex that come out for our, our event for. The uh, Saturdays with Mr. Ellen Friends. We're going to bring God them out good to the New time. York Cannabis Freedom Everywhere. Festival. We're already making the calls and we're telling everybody on our team. So Man. we might have a hundred or so people come out and I'll, you know, we're going to set the booth up. We're going to do a live. We're going to do a, a, um, live interviews with mm -hmm. your vendors right there on the spot. Right. We're going to have it live streaming to our, our new space that we just confirmed just now. YouTube.com right. forward slash more beats is going to be set up. We're going to have the, this, the same thing you see here. It's going to be set up. Lovely. At the C Cannabis Full Freedom Festival. Setup, y'all gonna have a nice bit. <laughs> and if you come down, yeah. we also got my guy with the 360 thing. So if y'all came so by and got any artist, videos, spinning, do some moves. Yeah. Oh, yo, you shimmy. got the 360 booth oh, yeah, coming? Yeah, yeah. Okay, the, nice. Yeah, we in effect, we even got a touch screen. Um, two of those so that you can have um, interactive information about cannabis, seeds, growing, where to go. There'll be different... Um, growers and seeders. Before and the festival, they, they can visit the shop, right? Be yes, we open... Yep. Every day, except Sunday when there's actually a grow class. Mondays is a Monday's wellness where you get a massage and get some 
CBD stuff by uh, What's Tina. What's the address? Uh, it's 188 Wood Point Road, Brooklyn, New York, 11211. And the phone number is 292-295-0101. So y'all hit that, bmillgrowsupplies.com. Nice. Let's, let's get out of here. Mm. So it was a great day. We had my friend Diesel L in the building. From How many of us have them? them. That's Jabina right. Grow God God we had Jabina <laughs> Davina in the building with the Davina book. Davina in the house. Jabina in the house. Girl, yes, sister. My sister. Yes. Show love with there. the book Single and Sex. It's available on Amazon. You can purchase it right now. It's only $15. And I got Rob Finesse in the building keeping us in check, co-producing with. Really? Thank, thank you, Commissioner. The Commissioner. Uh, thank you, Ms. G. Not the Commander. The Commissioner. The commissioner. <laughs> well, Commander, Commissioner. In the commander in Chief. Damn, it's the same as no. Not the Commander. Money's in the building. Got Asia's it. in the building. Kev's in the building. Vic Manic is in the building. He got a yeah, plus next. one back there. Yeah. Where, where's Peoples at? What's up? His Peoples is Vic in the building. Turn Vic it up. Man, he's about to turn it up. So we're we going to talk about how to get Vic Manic connected yeah. to the Cannabis Freedom Hell Festival yeah. as well. We're going to work on that. And we'll, we'll see you guys next week. Uh, I don't know what the date is. I think it's April Fool's Day, isn't it? April 1st. It's April Fool's Day. So. Don't be no fool. Come see us. This is Saturdays with Mr. Ellen <laughs> Friends. How He's, many of us? All right, y'all see us. Peace. We out of here. Stay in your lane. We aren't the same. No limit. No game.